testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing, let me get my phone. Okay, it's not. Okay, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. And if my phone will allow me to see my actual Twitch stream. All right. Okay, so the music volume is overriding. Okay, so hopefully that fixes it. Let's see if it fixes it. Okay, now, can you do a quick test? Quick see test as in see it? Yeah, well, no, sure. uh, test as if your voice is being picked up properly. Let me go, then, to your Twitch. Let us see. Let us see. Okay, time to unmute. Okay. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, it's somewhat good. I need to move my mic. Okay, I need to get really close up to it. I can up the Discord's master volume. Oh no, it's peaking. Yeah, you just have to up me. Okay. Uh, let's see. That was the... Okay, go. Howdy, howdy. Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, I've upped you tw to 22 on my mast volume. Go. Howdy, howdy. Okay, it's, de it's pretty good. Okay. Let's go. Let's... Hold on, let me actually put on my comfy socks. Uh, but how are we going to do this? It's you got to either Discord stream it to me that I can see it more in time because they have a delay. Yeah. Or, yeah, got to do something. I'm going share screen. It's not wanting to show. Okay. Does that work? Let's see. Uh, so... Oh, like... I can see... How about you click to the right side? Or yeah, you can just save content. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, won't, so... It won't be that much of a delay. Alright. Let's do this. right ace and turn <laughs> i've been waiting for this for a while the first turnabout play the first turnabout yes give me give me give me give me Oh, man, I just... Whew. I can't get caught. Not like this. I, I've, I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone because like... Because I'm a total asshole. I, I'm a total tool. I'll make it look like... He did dick. it. A dick. And no one will ever know. I'll frame him. No one will ever know. <laughs> I guess three... August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Boy! 
uh, am I nervous? I, I already sound like I just came out of, you know, law school. Man, I haven't even fully graduated. I, I can't believe they actually gave me this assignment. <laughs> right. I'm hitting enter. Hopefully that's not skipping everything. Oh. Hiya, Chief. Phew. Okay, so... <laughs> You, you gotta say, do you want what characters do you want me to voice? Am I voicing the prosecutors? What are you going? What is it? You're voicing the prosecutor. You can voice uh, Dick Gumshoe. Fucking even the judge if you want to. Okay, so prosecutor Dick. I'm gonna be just the law. The law. Phew. I'm glad I made it on time. <laughs> Man, I, I'm, I'm such a smoker. Pack cigar cigarettes don't really do that good. Uh, well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on mur murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks, Chief. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. That bitch. That asshole. That asshole. A favor. You let me in this position. <laughs> you mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. I do. Not. Not. I, I, I've never met him before. This is the first time I've ever seen him, actually. Actually, I've still not seen him. Actually, I kind of owe him... I kind of... I kind of owe my current job to him. Okay. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> I see greens of rain. You Red actually can do a really good one. Sheesh. Red roses too. I want to help him out any way I can. I owe it to him. I just really want to help him. I ho owe him that much. It's over! My life! Everything! It's all over! Huh? Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's... him. Death! Despair! Oh! I'm going to do it! I'm going to die! It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. God damn it, how many times do you have to talk to this man? Nick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude! Larry the Lobster! Larry the Lobster? Observe. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. <laughs> I ain't afraid to see God. I don't mind death. I don't mind death. What? What's wrong, Larry? Larry the Lobster? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finish. Finish. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Ah, oh, Nick, you gotta Don't tell me. Don't buy in a fedora. Don't worry about it, sir. <laughs> you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. Do I in actually inform him, or do I just whip a nay nay on him? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Larry. I gotta just whip a nay nay out of this courtroom. Hmm. <laughs> the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's you, dude. The newspapers say it was you, Larry. My name. What? <laughs> My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story about how my entire life got turned upside down. My first case is a fairly simple one. I live in Morio. I'm 33 years old. 
I, I like having a peaceful life. I, I like having a peaceful life, but unfortunately, many of my defend clients are accused of murder. Now, if I was ever accused of murder, <laughs> I would destroy the court system. I would whip the nene simultaneously. <laughs> I just simultaneously. <laughs> Simultan- I can't say it. Simultaneously whipped in nay nay A young woman was killed in an apartment. Totally not by me, nor Larry, but... Uh, actually, I recant that last part. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap that dated her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school has a saying, when someone's something smells, it's usually the butts. Ha ha. Ha ha, my Ra school were assholes. <laughs> Don't worry about that, though. Don't worry about that. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart and totally not a murderer. That and I also owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. Yeah, he saw me smoking cocaine outside the schoolyard one time and he didn't snitch. I owe him. <laughs> I was in a really bad place around that time. Don't I, ask. Don't ask. <laughs> I was doing art classes. And that's just what I'm going to do. Wait, hold on. We start yeah. at like 9.27 a.m. Mm-hmm. So Oh, so nearly half an hour just spent to that. All right, cool. August 3rd, 10 o'clock a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. This guy already sounds like a tool. The, um, defense is ready, your honor. Ahem. Um, Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? You know it. Yes. Y yes, honor. Yes, your honor. I, I'm a little nervous. I, I'm shaking my boots. I've already had to change my pair of pants. Are you busy your pants yet? <laughs> Hopefully it's... N hey, as soon as I piss my pants, it's going to look green down there. Your conduct during this trial would decide the fate of your client. And did you just say green piss? What the fuck? <laughs> Moving on from that. Murder is a serious charge! For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Aw, oh, I just shit, prick. <laughs> Mr. Wright! I hope you have an adult diaper. I do not, sir. Th Fuck. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, your honor. Boy. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I have to do something real quick. I think we should have a test to assert your readiness. Uh, just, I, I, I really need to do something real quick. <laughs> just, just do, do, uh, do, make him do this test. Come on, oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, your honor. God, what is he doing? Okay. Time Hands to finish up this. Hands shaking. Eyesight. Fading. I'm such a bitch. The test will consist of a simple questions. Answer them clearly and consciously and make me have some a little bit more time. 
consciously, not concisely, consciously. Sorry. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Ah, oh, shit. Bro, you already know who it is. It's Larry Butts. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, your honor. Correct! I'm glad you're able to read! <laughs> now, now answer me this! What? Well, answer me this after I uh, uh, explain something to you. You just need to keep your wits about and you'll do fine. Great. What were you going to explain to me? I'm gonna explain to you that you need to drink more water. If you're pissing green piss, there's something very wrong with you. And the green is signified by your eye intake or actually output of calcium and sodium. I, how would water fix that situation then? It will uh, dilute it. That's actually the whole reason is that you're having such a high output of this. <laughs> Concentrated, since we all piss out sodium and uh, calcium naturally. It's just that the more cal concentrated it is, uh, the more green or yellow looking it is. Hold on, I got, I got to drink some. I actually need to get myself a water bottle real quick. Ah, uh, that's. Some... I can't wait to piss green. <laughs> Noon. Judge. Oh shit, he he form a recess already. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, actually, if you have high concentrations of sodium and calcium, it actually forms kidney stones. That is why you should actually drink water to dilute the concentration and reduce the risk of you developing any, uh, calcium or... Crystallizations, which is what kidney stones are. Actual crystallizations of sodium and calcium. Judge, how do you know so much about this subject? I'm a 68-year-old man. I went through two kidney stones. Now, please go. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Your stupid test. Okay, <laughs> next question. This is a Myrtle trial. <laughs> Tell me, what's the victim's name? Myrtle? A uh, murderer. Phew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... Wait. Uh-oh. No. No way. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, the, the victim. Uh, of course, I know the victim's name. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank still. I, uh, just for gore, temporarily. I think I feel migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do for me, please. I'm begging you. Okay, you're gonna answer my question now. <laughs> Who's the victim? Who's the victim in this case? Shit, man, I don't know. I mean, Sydney's autopsy report. If you press R, you'll see the profiles that we have in this case. A model. She lived in an apartment by herself. The defendant in this case, a likable guy who has been my friend since grade school. Who put that in? <laughs> put that in. Who put that in? Who was high school friend? This is completely false information. Who am I? The prosecutor for this case lacks presence, generally bad at gains points across. Bitch, yes. H52. Oh shit, he is going to Oh boy, you know, that's me. 
I'm changing his voice because I forgot his old one. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. Backspace. Sit Cinder Block. Sydney Stone, your honor. Um, the victim's Good name is Good job! Sydney. You actually were able to guess it correctly because you took over 10 minutes and looked through files in your briefcase. I, I'm... Mr. Wright, I, I'm, I'm actually very concerned here, but I gotta continue on. Your honor, please. I, I'm totally qualified. Okay, well... Let me ask you this third question. What was the cause of death? Oh shit. Uh She died she died because she was what? Uh died. Let me... Stab Shit, man. Uh you know who it is. Combusted! <laughs> Combusted. She was struck once by blunt object. Now, how blood are we talking about? But <laughs> that's another issue. But correct, good job! Phew, nearly passed by. You answered all my questions correctly. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. Shit, man, let's do it. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you! I hope you don't feel that relaxed later on, because we're still try trying to trial a murderer here. Yeah, uh, yeah sure. <sighs> I'm swinging bullets over here, Maya. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. I'm sweating bullets here, Maya. Well then. First, a question over the prosecutor, Mr. Bane. Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright just told you, told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. Hey, it was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it is evidence. Jesus Christ, Judge, did you just have a stroke? I have many fates, and one of them, and I have suffered a stroke. I can't move my legs. <laughs> that is not at all how a stroke works, but I'm gonna accept it. <laughs> I will accept it as evidence. I get wheeled here by the bailiff every day. Why do you never think you'd ever see my legs? I don't have them anymore, Phoenix. <laughs> a blood clot happened and they, they developed necrosis. <laughs> they had to be amputated, Phoenix. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, Judge. Statue. Uh, don't worry. Statue. You get to live with it. Alright. Statue added to the court record. Statue in the shape of the thinker. It's rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. Shit, man, you don't need to say anything else. What the fuck are you talking about ammunition? <laughs> I'm confused here! Phoenix Wright don't have a gun in my courtroom. Okay, now, Mr. Payne, the prosecution may cause it for witness. The prosecution calls the offended, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention! don't want to miss any information that might call, help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything. Unfortunate. Uh-oh. 
Larry no, gets it. Why is it offended me fucking prepped like a kindergartner here? Like, uh, I, I'm beginning to be very worried about Judge, the Judge, shut the fuck up. All right, I'm getting consoled by my co-counsel. Is it being consoled or is it being prepped like a kindergartner being sent to pre- being sent to a taller being sent to kindergartner? I, I will unload my Glock on him. On his ass. What? Did I, did I, what did I tell you, Mr. Wright? I don't have Everything. anything, Judge. You're just hearing things. Mm. I'll Larry. accept that into evidence. <laughs> Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. That bitch is going to squeal. Ahem. Mr. Butts, it is not true that the victim had recently dumped you. Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> we were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, Mark Anthony, uh, uh, fucking Bonnie and Clyde, man. <sighs> Didn't they all die? And also, why the Bonnie and Clyde, dude? That's just bad representation. I wasn't dumb. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. <clears throat> In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seen other men. <laughs> She had just returned from overseas with one of them, the day before the murder. Bro, you're capping. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of it. Lies. I don't believe a word of it. It's all cap, your honor. Your honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7.30, the day before the murder. Mm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude. No way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies, as the cool kids called them. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, Mr. Butts. Older men who gave the... Who gave them... Who gave her money <laughs> and gifts. Who gave... Him money and gifts. Uh -huh. I don't think Sydney Stone <laughs> was on him. She took the money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude, dude, no way, dude. You, you, you capping, bro? We can clearly see what kind of woman this. Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. I just had a voice crack right then and there. Shit. Congratulations, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Bitch, you can't hear my thoughts. What the fuck? Ah, but you do not know, I'm secretly a telepath! Shh. And I know this boy doesn't know what the fuck capping means, and just you use it because he, all of his friends use it. Shit. Fuck, this is gonna be harder than I thought. For telepath on, on the prosecution side. You are certainly right, Mr. Phoenix Wright, and I know that Glock you have is real. Shut the fuck up, don't even say anything or else your fucking brain is about to become useless brain 
gray matter. Ah, but Mr. Phoenix Wright, the only reason I'm telling you this is because I, Mr. Payne, want to live a quiet life. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Where the fuck is the Glock in my pocket? Hmm, let me see. Uh, Bitch. Fuck up. It is in your right pocket. Shit, man, he's right. Fuck. Now let us continue on, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm so perch- I'm And I'll leave your mind alone. I'm taking Advil, bitch. You won't be able to do it. No, I'm taking Benadryl. You won't be able to hear shit. Oh no, my one weakness! <laughs> stop him from- Should I stop him from answering? Well, if Maya says I should, I am gonna do it. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. This is completely irrelevant. Irre irrelevant. That question is irrelevant to this case. Come on, you gotta bring out your inner phoenix. Uh, inner right Hold up. it! Irrelevant! Irrelevant! Alright. Ah. Wince, ooh woo. Fuck you. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant, man? That cheat she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead, man. Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's continue on with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motives is very clear to everyone. Yes, it's it is quite sadly clear. Oh boy, this is not looking so good. I should have saved before this. Next next question. Hold on. Bitch, fuck you. I'm about Are you really saving the game uh, even though you made only one decision? Bitch. Very suspicious of you, Phoenix Wright. Fuck you. This is. I am going to save and reset as many times to get this verdict. What? You have time travel? Shut oh, the fuck no. up. We. Hold. Hold on. Shit. Shouldn't what? save. What are you doing? Shouldn't have said anything. Very odd of you to say. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I just need to save that in the court record. No problem. Hmm. You went to the victim's apartment the other day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> well, did you or did you not? Shit, man. <laughs> well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. He went. This bitch. What do I do? Have him answer honestly. Say, <laughs> <laughs> I've we've already established Phoenix Wright has control over time. Yep. I know. I'll send a single. Tell the truth. Er, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Order. Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, like, chill, man. You're killing the vibe. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. Objection! Your honor, the defendant, is lying! How do I know? Uh, because I can! Lying! The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Dude, Butts, take Benadryl. Phoenix, what the- what the hell, man? J just do it! Well, that's... Well, that simplified matters. 
Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body, of course. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Uh-oh. Shit. I'm going to order, take order in the court. I'm going to need to take some more Benadryl. Mr. Bain, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. I see what you're doing there, Phoenix Wright. Stop passing out Benadryl. <laughs> Shit, man. This is why I got... <laughs> why I owe Butts a favor. I kept on passing out drugs in school, and I'm doing it now in the courtroom. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Swat. Mr. Frank Swat. Wit. Oh my, what the fuck. <laughs> Please bring me. <clears throat> Please bring Mr. Frank Swat. To the stand. Mr. Sawit. Saw, saw wit. Mr. Sawit. You sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Who's voicing Saw it? You. Alright. Oh. Oh, yes. Newspapers. Yes. Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Shit, man, this this testimony is about to be not cap, bro. <laughs> I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then, I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However... The phone in the apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Mm, now before we continue, Mr. Venus right? Where the fuck that pop-up was? You probably want to disable it in your Steam settings for future reference. <laughs> I, I don't... Just to stop any uh, unsavory characters from snooping around. Don't worry, I don't think it popped up on the actual stream. Uh, maybe. It probably did it. I'll have to check it out next time. Now let's continue on. Larry, why didn't you tell the fucking truth, dude? You had, like, one job I gave you. I can't defend you against a testimony like that. It's solid. Like the brick in my pants. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. No fucking clue why, but <laughs> cool. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. Uh, this is why I have a landline. <laughs> of course you would have a landline, Judge. The phone... The phone that Mr. Sot used was one of those. Your Honor, I 
have a record of the blackout for your, your perusal. Perusal. Peru. Per, oh yeah, Peru. Perusal. Yeah. For your perusal. Why is peruse, Peru Peru in this word? I have Peru? no idea. <laughs> He's going country. Blackout record. Electricity to Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. I hope you know what the fuck that is. <laughs> don't, uh, don't worry, Your Honor. I've seen, uh... Marvel vs. Capcom. I already know what I'm supposed to do here. Cross-examination, Your Honor. Alright. Right. This is it. The real deal. Uh... What exactly am I supposed to do? God damn it, Mr. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. I thought you saw... It. I thought you said you saw Marvel. <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> they're catching me capping the court. Fuck. Why, you exposed the lies and testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is, is, is innocent, right? Right? Did that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? <sighs> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay, sure, open the court, open the court record with tab, then point out the contradictions in the testimony. Shit. All right. Uh, there's only, well, I, I just look, take a look in, onto the stream. You yeah. might want to turn up the music, but eh, everything else is fine. Yo, I turned it down just because it was too loud. Yeah. Well, now you can't. It sounds like you can't even hear it. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Is, is that better? Yes. Yes, it is. Now you're able to hear it. Okay. Save. Yes. Time to fucking shit on his parade. I thought he must be nice. Uh, No, oh, good? yeah, yeah, shit. <laughs> right. The guy that you're supposed to voice things. Yeah, right. Does that sound, seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Shit, man, you about to get fucked. Don't you know? Fucking electricity was out. This evidence? This evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are that evidence and the statement now related? Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before Bruh. making an accusation. As in, you have to present this evidence at a different statement, and you have to you actually have to press 
each statement to make sure that you're collecting all the evidence that you have. Shit. Wait. Okay. Press every- okay, I'm just going to press all of his shit. Isn't a man leaving an apartment at common sight? I find it odd you would take notice of him. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, he just seemed strange to me, that's all. Like, he was mad and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of a crime. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course, what the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So what happened next? Half open, you say? Yes, yes, the door was open halfway, yes. I watched for a moment, but no one came to close the door. That's odd in a big scene like this, I thought. I see, and what happened next? Thinking it's. I don't even. <laughs> okay. Hold it! Are you sure she was dead? W well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well. What happened next? So, you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Um, yes. I mean, no. Nothing. Okay. What happened next? You thought to call the police. Does that mean you didn't actually call them? Please, please, listen to the rest of the testimony. You thought you called the police. What happened next? Shit. Hold it! The phone in her apartment wasn't working? Yes, I mean, no. No, it wasn't right. But you said you didn't go into the apartment, or did you? Oh, oh, that? I can't explain that. There was a cordless phone on a shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And the phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? Why use the public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. It being the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartments. Ah, right. What time did you call again? Okay, I've already... Are you absolutely 100% positive? Yes, it was him. No mistake about it. No witness says he is certain. That's all of it. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. Except when the court record with tap if something strikes you as being suspicious. Then find the evidence that contradicts it. Testimony presented to court. Okay. I was going towards towards shit. I, I know what unless there's more than just that. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, let's go. Okay, hold on. Shut the fuck up, dude.
All right, bitch, you fucked up. Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report, you fucking bitch. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap? Huh? Oh, that, oh. Objection! This is trivial! The witness merely forgot the time! After his testimony, I find it hard, that hard to believe. Shit, let's go. Mr. Saw it. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m. exactly? I, er, uh, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Wait to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, their whole story falls apart. Shit, he has to be taking a lot of Benadryl to not be getting his mind read. He's, all, he's hmm. higher than me. Interesting thought. Mr. Right? Oh, God, God, dab up again. Ooh, it's quite harder to even see into your own mind. Bitch, fuck well, off. Well, you are correct. I could not go into the mind of this fellow, nor of the. nor of. nor of the. the man who is on trial. The defendant, Larry Butts, bitch. Yikes. Yeah, I, you Correct. know, slide, I slide him a few pieces of Benadryl, you know. No, before that. Shit. You, we had custody of him before, Phoenix, right? It's... Shit. Hmm. Yeah, he's just a dumbass. I couldn't read his mind. It's almost as if there were nothing in there but Sh this mind. Shit. This knows. witness is clouded. It is... So foggy, I could not transverse it. But Thank never you. mind that. Back to the trial. Thank God, Larry Butts is a dumbass. I'm taking more of the fucking Benadryl. I'm at 40 grams. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was at 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Bitch, I already got that cap because there was a power outage. Mm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a tape program, even though we have no court record of any... Hey, fuck that. I'm not thinking. I'm not a thinker. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness and find any holes in his testimonies like I have. Don't worry, Judge. I'm already on it. Right. You know what to do. I got this one. Bitch, already off the bat, you're capping because shit, this, there was no power. You know you fucked up when even me, the judge, is able to see something wrong instantly. Shit. Uh, tab. Hold on. Just in case. All right, bitch, you're about to get fucked by all quarters of the law. Objection. Objection! Hold it right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. 
and this record proves it. <coughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video, dumbass. I, well... Defense, there's a point. A good point. A really good point. A point that I, I even thought of. Shit, you know Do an it. explanation for this, Mr. Saw it. No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Uh, ah! Wait, wait, I remember now. Mr. Saw it. The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Otherwise, you're actually breaking a law. You're breaking These many These constant laws. corrections are harming your credibility, as well as violating the law in some areas. In all 49 well, states, you seem except rather Texas. distraught as well. It seems as if the more we press against you, the more you're cracking like an egg. I'm very sorry, Mr. Sawit, but you need to be better. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. It, are, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit, and you better hope it be. Let's just hear that testimony once more, please. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Great, great work upon there. There was a table clock in the apartment. It wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Alright, bitch. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross witness the may cross examine the witness. Gladly. Cross witness the examine. Shit, man, where did you hear about the clock? How's that mean? Press every statement, Mr. Wright, just to make sure. Hold it. That strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. Yes, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm really sorry. I only just remembered that table clock. A uh, table clock? I haven't heard one of those in a while. There was a table clock in the apartment. A table clock. Was there a clock at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. Not really. You know, we were, we were given this evidence at the very beginning. If you, if you could hit, well, hit tab real quick. Oh, wait. If you clearly see, we, we see that there's a statue. Now, Put two, two yeah, it's a statue. Never mind. I don't know what a table clock is. <laughs> don't don't present that and get a penalty, oh, Mr. Phoenix. Thanks, Judge. Thanks for uh, you know breaking the law for me. The murder weapon. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm trying to find the truth, which is my job. <laughs> yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. That's why I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here. Shit, what did he say? What? I need to... The murder weapon? Yes, the table clock that was to use that somewhere. Now, Mr. Phoenix Wright, as we have already went over, if you bring up the uh, court proceedings, if you look over the autopsy, it was due to blunt trauma. We have linked this to the statue, I think. So... Maybe. Present... Okay, hold on. 
Take your time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Shut make up. sure you're presenting. Make, make sure that you're presenting evidence at the correct statement. Well, this is the one that has the question. Yes, that one. <clears throat> Objection, bitch. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? You, with your objections and your evidence, just who do you think you are? Man, using evidence in a court of law, who would have guessed? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw It. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may... Yes, Mr. Payne. Oh, as the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just have to tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue's. My apologies. Bitch. Fuck you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Thank you for with all the information. Because even when I ask, oh man, a tablecloth, this is the first time I've heard of it. And you just proceeded to stand there and not do anything about it. Thank you for giving me. Low Thank you for, you know, uh, misdirecting me, prosecutor. Loads gun maliciously. Like fucking. Nihilate Mr. Bates, I'm gonna have to bring you out back and make you never appear up again in the game. <laughs> Thank God. Well, the murder weapon was a table clock, after all. And the statue isn't actually a statue. It's actually a table clock, which we would have known if the prosecution submitted it correctly. Fuck you. Now, continue on. Uh, Mr. Wright, continue on. It appears that the witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. After the prosecution has corrected both me and you. But do you have any problems with this testimony now? Shit. We probably should have pressed him for more information, but you know, that's our mistake. Let's let's just your your decision, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witnesses testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Mm, indeed. Good job, Mr. Wright. Shit, let's go. The witnesses knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying! We're inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Uh, oh yeah! Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that. I'll prove you're the one who killed her. Jesus, dude. I, I like, I gave him a proper Mr. Testimony. Phoenix, all you have to do is provide evidence to prove, you know, to make sure that we have actual plausible deniability that Mr. Butts killed him. That's all you have to do. You don't have to figure out another murder. You don't have to point someone else as a murderer. But if that table, if, if you believe that's easier than proving the plausible deniability, then go ahead, I guess. Shit, let's go. I'm about to put a man's life to jail. Or worse. You struck oh, no, her with the clock. California. We have the death sentence here. Shit, let's go. This, this bus, dude. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. And that was the sound you heard. Little bitch. Order in the court. I want my order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Alright, you fucking simpletons. Listen up. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. 
That's why you were so certain about the time. Objection! Whoa, what's the meaning of this? Shit, psychic power's not working, bitch! Like I said, I couldn't fucking see it, but fuck you, Phoenix Wright! This is all baseless conjecture! Shit, man, what was else? Baseless? Based on what? Just look at the witness's face! Based on nothing! That's what the baseless means! <laughs> the sh fucking better drills gave to me, dude. <laughs> it seems so! <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock and not be a witness I, anymore? I, that and day, actually be the murderer? I I never. Look, I the clock. I heard no. I mean, I saw. I saw. You bitch. You're going to fucking nice die. Nice stupid, dumbass. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I hate you. It was him. I tell you. It, I I saw him. He, he killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death! Nice to be, dumbass. Look at me, I went the complete bull route, and look how handsome I am. Shit. Now, order, order in the court, I say. Here's the thing, Mr. Saw. In a normal court, this, this entire thing would completely end right here, because all credibility you have had is all out the window. And we would, and with no witness to put Mr. Butts there, we would get an immediate, immediate not guilty verdict. It would actually probably start putting you on trial for all this, uh, not only lying in court, lying under oath, but also, you know, most likely being the thing. Yeah, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence of poison fence claims. You say that, but... But you, you say that, prosecutor. But as we just seen, this man has lied about, like, half of the things you've seen and done. Now, Mr. Wright. Y Your Honor? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. The prosecution seems to not believe it. I believe it for once, but they need evidence. So do you have any evidence? Shit. The whole case is right on this. I better think it through carefully. God, the bed drill is really kicking in. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw had heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Why would batteries have anything to do with it? Hold on. I don't think you need to save it. Wait a minute. No, I don't. I, I can't have any. Let me get out of character. You don't need to save in this situation. You literally have one only I, option. That's I know, I know, but it's like, fuck. <laughs> oh, I gotta be extra secure. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. That is a certainly a strange way to announce a time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we are the clock. What was your... What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Saw is guilty as fuck, Your Honor. Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time is it now? It's... 1125 As you can see this clock is exactly three hours slow Precisely this discrepancy between what mr. Saw heard and the actual time of death So mr. Saw no fuck so mr. Saw it Try to talk your way out of this one Gort one thing. Uh oh, what's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow the, on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Hmm, he's right. How am I going to prove that? 
damn it. I'm so close. Mr. Wright, why are you sweating bullets over there? Shit. I need to know. I'm coming down, Your Honor. Coming down from... What? Uh, but whatever. It seems you lack critical evidence to support your claim. By the... By the fucking... Shit. By the meat... <laughs> By what the prosecution needs. God. I did no better drill hit this hard. Yes, your honor. This means I cannot indict the witness. But I probably could, you know, set your, uh, your, your defense free, be, uh, but not guilty. Because, you know, this is how a normal court would, would do. But unfortunately... I'm having a gun up against my head, and the, <laughs> and, and the prosecutor is going to shoot me if I don't do this. This will end the cross-examination of, of Mr. Frank Sawit. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Well, it probably is correct that you're a criminal since you lied under oath, and we will probably will indict you about that. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not, Not so fast, Mr. Sawyer. Maya, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. Can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time dying the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Can't think of a reason? As to why the clock would be three hours slow. Shit, man. Yeah. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you have any evidence? You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found the evidence to support this claim? It's uh, quite a simple one, since we know that the victim herself got back the day of the murder. Of from course. Paris. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! <laughs> Tough words. Let's see you pulled this one off. Come on, let's see this evidence, even though I probably j I just said it. But yeah, shit, man. Take that. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast! The victim had reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong! Proof enough for you, Mr. Sergeant? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Congratulations yeah. on making a pun in my courtroom, Mr. Wright. Thank I you. I expect you to do much many more. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Shit, I made him kill himself. Let's or, or, hey, Mr. Wright, it seems you made the victim go into some sort of shock state in which they're foaming at the mouth. We need paramedics in here right this instant. Well, well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. And, you know, like the prosecutor fucking submitting me wrong information or wrong evidence. But Mr. Payne, your witness, 
he, uh, he was arrested and had been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not only that you can, you, not only have you proved the innocence of your defendant, you proved the guiltiness of the of a witness. Also, prove my prosecutor is kind of dumb, submitting me wrong information, wrong evidence, <laughs> as well as tearing apart a, the witness's testimony, improving a lot of what lies. I don't- I, I just don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. Like, this has to be in my top 10 quickest defenses ever. Like, I don't even think we've passed the two hour mark. What, we started at like, uh, 10? Oh wait, it's a, oh yeah, it was like around 11 to about 25, so, you know, uh, you know, an, an hour and 30 minutes, pretty good. Yeah, you, you know, you found the true culprit, it's pretty good. Thank you, Your Honor. That Baron drill is finally passed. At this point, this is only a formality, but... You know, I have to end it in the court. I have to end this court session in some way that's professional. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts... Not... Guilty. Let's go. Fuck you, Pain. And with that, this court is adjourned. Psychic powers my ass. It's nothing against Ben Drill. It turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. Posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day... When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. And fucked him murk her ass. August absolutely, absolutely killed her. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby, number two. Yeah. Stan, I still can't believe I got over the bin drill. And won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe all to you. And also my ability to save and reset time. Uh huh? You're still in bin drill. Not, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. i never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over, dude. Uh, Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Uh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon, dude. My Good. girlfriend died. <laughs> Good. Wait, no, I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. <laughs> but, but my Cindy Windy's gone, man. Gone forever. My Cindy Kidney Stone is gone. Shh. I'm about to pass a kidney stone here soon. Larry, <laughs> she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. H Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> uh, thanks, I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you out off the hook, you bitch. I'm easily swayed by any affection that women show me. That's because I'm an insult. My name is Larry Butts, and I'm <laughs> de facto himself. Oh, hey, dude. Here, take this. It's a present. A present for me? Wait, 
most of this is evidence that actually I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Huh. Well, I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick, dude. And, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to just cry? <coughs> Larry. Fucking, dude, just shut up. Larry the incel. <laughs> Are you so sure? Exqueeze me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me, it's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Is that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she... Something that proves how she felt about him. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? Man, you only have a few things. I wonder what it was. Yeah, this. She ding, kept... ding, ding. Awesome. Take that. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that may feel a little better. He's an incel. <laughs> right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully, hopefully you realize Things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We really, we never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. Hold on. Roses green, red roses too. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah, and possibly do some cocaine later. Oh, speaking of Harry. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer, lawyer was because of him? Er, yeah, part. Yeah, backstory time! Yeah, part, at least. You have to tell me more about some time. Maybe over drinks? Oh, wait, it isn't backstory time. A darn shame. And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. That pussy. I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, unless you count the clock he gave Maya. Hey, it's one of a kind. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to, to keep. Well, technically, oh. actually, in the later things, we know about her, about her sister, and thus, retroactivating, know, knowing how her sister behaves, he could still per, uh, hypothetically keep the promise. A new episode has been added. And it's been a complete an hour and 30 minutes. Let's go. Hold on. Oh, so you're gonna keep on going? No, I'm trying to cancel out. Beep. Yeah, I just hit escape, forehead. I am. I'm hitting escape. Uh, then Alt F4, forehead. Alt at 4 Hold on. Um, yeah. Fuck it. Heart close. Alright. There we oh. go.
<laughs> it still shows the beep on the screen. Oh, never mind. It's a black, black screen. Let's go. I fucking was able to do it. Well, yeah, we've been going on for, yeah, an hour and a half. An hour and 25 minutes. Yeah. I'm going to heat up some tacos. Oh, well, make sure you first, you know, close the stream. Say goodbye. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. This has been Dr. Eggman and Mr. E on the mic. <laughs> on a good old Tuesday night. On a good old Tuesday night before work. You know how it is. We're on that grind to get that mad bread, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day. And see you on the flip side. Peace.